Mm, technically, yes. Thursday. Meet the video if you'll have to hear. You know the rules. The rules. Okay, hold on. All right. Can you'll hear me. I'm like, mm -hmm. pause, stop, don't click. All right, hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> For some reason, it's going to not. There it goes. All right. <clears throat> Back. Oh, and I didn't even get it. I'm hearing myself talk. And I'm like, what is that? What's the deal? Okay, let me be like, we're live again. They're going to be like, hello, hello. Live. Oh, Kat, I was just sending you a message. Hi, Terry. Hi, Kelly. Um, live again, just for the few people. I don't want to wake anyone up. All right. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So the word. So what we did was, and I'll show you guys, is I was on the phone with the girls, and the word was, the word is the word. Um, so each one of us wrote down a word. It's Susie, Dana, and me. And Kat, I wish talk you didn't jump on. Kat, you ain't jumping on? I thought you were on vacation. So we had three different words, and I should have texted you. I was going to. I just thought about it and forgot. Um, so... The word that got pulled by Elijah was snowflakes, which is Dana. Snowflake. Snowflake. All right. I'm going to. We don't. I don't really have a plan yet, but. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff, though. A bunch of ideas, though. But I think I'm actually going to work on making one of those cards for a video. So that's kind of hi Anna. Hi Stacy. Oh, Kat can come on. Under the invite. All right. Kat, let me know when you're ready. Send me a text when you're ready. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. The word is snowflake. So um, Susie, do you have an idea what you're doing? Mm, I guess when she comes back, we can ask her again. All right, so my kind of idea, and it's kind of changing, is I need to do a video on a tutorial for the Memory Dex little pocket thing that I showed everyone. And so what I'm going to do is I always like to have a mock-up of what I'm doing at the beginning of the video and then talk about it in the tutorial. So since I don't have one, I'm going to have one in a winter theme like snowflakes. And then when I do the video, I will do it again, right? Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think I'm just going to do a mixed media type thing. <clears throat> it was so funny. Dana picked Snowflake and then when it got picked, she was like, really? Snowflake? And we're like, you picked it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? You picked it, girl. All right. Um, I think Susie blanked out. Hi, hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandra, Cherry, Stacy, Cat, uh, Kelly, Kelly, and Lurkers. Whoever's hi, lurking. hi, Kelly. Thanks for the thumbs up because someone apparently has me on notifications and they're um, loving my videos. Loving it. All right. Hi, Sandra. I know, right? The lurkers. You got to like say hi to the lurkers. They're a big part of this. Um, okay. I want to do this. But then I want to do this. It's like, bam. Maybe I'll do one of each, right? What a pretty paper, though. We're going to do the blue. Dana, you want me to put you up? No, I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, no, we can't hear you. Go up to the top, Susie, and the little settings and make sure um, that your mic is correct. 
Remember up in the little like screw looking thing? Go up there. No, snowflake is your interpretation. So you don't have to have like snowflake paper. I mean, Dana's fixing to like do some mixed media. Snowflake is just your inspiration, cat. But you don't get on here anyway. All right. I'm going to cut six. Six. My six is where I'm going to start. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, now. okay. So y'all are probably tired of seeing this crushed glass stuff, but I thought about trying to make a snowflake out of it. Not like on a pendant or nothing, just paper. Because you said it works with the um, art glitter glue. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, hey, anybody? I think I've got everybody in caught up, though. Okay, I need to get my. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I know what I need to know, though. Well, <laughs> instantly. All right, let me see. So I need to cut my second one. At oh, tell me when you're ready, Kat. You said you're ready. Bye, three and a quarter. One, two, three and a quarter. Bye, four. I get another. Three and a quarter. But he's so sad, though. <laughs> Good. I had a lot of fun watching you and. Hey, Mary Lou. By four and a quarter. Hey, Mary Lou. He's oh. a mess, ain't he? Yeah, he's funny. But I already. Yeah, I was laughing. <laughs> The funniest part when was you were like, I need to buy, I need, I need this money to, I need eighty eight dollars to buy a gallon of glue. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, <laughs> girl, I would have to just order that glue and not tell Rob because if I told Rob I spent eighty eight dollars on some glue, that would be insane. But if we did the math, me and Dana, it, we're spending two hundred over two hundred and seven dollars ordering it the way we're ordering. What? Yeah. Oh well, we're shipping. I guess so. Yeah. Where's he? Go close the freezer. Yeah, like I said, with him, it's like as long as everything's paid, he don't care. But he don't want to know, so he don't have a heart attack. Because when I went to Walmart to get some dowel rods and a couple things I needed. Yeah. It was like fifty something dollars, and I thought he was gonna fall out. It's like, oh my god, I didn't think all this was gonna be that expensive. I'm like, yeah, okay. He's like, yeah. He goes, so look. He says, okay, look, babe. As long as we have the money and bills paid, he said, I don't care. But seriously, for my health concerns, so I really don't have to take. I'm gonna need you just not to tell me. Sandra, you're watching me right now because they haven't done anything yet, but I don't understand what you mean. You go, oh, wow, do maybe a couple can split? Probably for the glue. Oh. Because mm. we were talking about the $88, so that's probably what she is meaning. I'm oh, thinking. I'm like, girl, yeah, me and my husband would never split over glue or $88, but I guess if you were buying it for like 300 people maybe um okay so i may have a tutorial on how to do this but that's basically what i'm making is so when i do my tutorial because i need to do it i've told them i was going to do it the peeps and um yeah I haven't done it because I was doing all those videos, but yay. Besides me meeting Rhonda, but Rhonda hasn't been feeling well. 
and neither have I. Um, I have to go meet with her to get her journal, which I should have told Pam when she was on here earlier. Yeah, Stacy, neither does mine. Yeah, my husband's like, no. I told him, I was like, Rob, Susie's husband's gonna go do he won't he's like, nah, I'm out. <laughs> like, that's your gig. No. Rob was like, wow. heck no. Heck no. my husband's like, uh, I already contribute. I give you money to <laughs> shop. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what Rob says. I'm supportive. I like sh shut the kids up before I pass out for a whole five minutes. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. I was just talking about it. I'm, so Pam and me are really cool, Rhonda. And I know you haven't been feeling well, so like, don't stress yourself out with it. It's going to Pam and she's really understanding. Um, and I was saying, can you believe besides meeting you, I'm done with mailing out all the journals and um, videos for journals. Hey, Cherry, I seen that you joined again. I'm so excited. All right. So the little one go here. So Susie said she's going to use that. Glass. Oh, Kat, did you say you're ready? I need to pay attention. <laughs> I know. I thought she was going to text my phone, though. She's been ready. She knows I don't pay attention. You don't? No. <laughs> The link. I sent you a thing. I can send you a link on Facebook if that doesn't work. Let me know. Yes, yeah, so excited. Oh, that's cool, Kelly. Nice. All right. Okay, I think I got it. Where's my phone pointing? Hey. Oh, Sherry, I was like that all summer. Okay, hey. Helen. I did send a ready to your phone, girl. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, well, she pays attention. Oh, she did. My bad. I turned my, <laughs> ring, off. I turned my ring off so it wouldn't go crazy. But I usually I hear it vibrate, but... I don't know. Oh, my mind be somewhere else. Hi, Kat. Hello. Kat's like, uh, y'all could have gave a little more heads up with the one word. Yeah, I'm Hi, like, no flake, snowflake. Oh, God. Mary, um, Lou, you can always just make one for yourself. You did an amazing job. That way you can do it at your own pace. <clears throat> Oh, you know how to get into it? Um, get back into it? Like, do a project that you have to do. Because then while you're doing something you have to do, you're like, I wish I could do this. You're like, I don't know. I've learned that, too. When I lose my mojo, I will do, a, like, something, join a challenge or something and make something. And then, yeah. Not even that. I've been in and out of the craft room all day, and I haven't crafted anything. That's because uh -oh. I didn't have. I'm like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And then it's like, oh, let's do one word. I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do? You yeah. yes, you'll be on the sideline again. Um, before I leave, what's the word? Oh, it's snowflake. <laughs> Sorry, Helen. Oh, I got the camera facing the wrong way. No, good thing I didn't have you up. Or did I? No, I'm just <laughs> I hope you didn't. <laughs> no. Now she's trolling you. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> How's it going, Kat? It is going good. 
I was laughing earlier when I was trolling you for real. And like, <laughs> it's so funny because Kat, like on the live, she's like, mm -hmm. yeah, try not to laugh. And I'm like, so funny. Well, I've got a background started anyway. So you started, you told your, that's so funny, you showed your husband the picture. <laughs> no, I didn't show him the picture. I told him what, because he kept looking at me like, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he won't be yawning anytime soon. <laughs> That's hilarious. But our poor beagle, that, that poor beagle yawns all the damn time. Oh. So I pretty much have got this down now. Look. I mean, that took like all of a couple of seconds. All of a couple of seconds. But I think this time I'm only going to make. I can't find my paint palette. Oh, here's a little one. The paint palette? My paint palette. Something my paint palette. Hey, Helen, they don't have... Okay. You're at the new... Okay. I was wondering... Oh, bye, Helen. Bye, Helen. I was hoping that they had um, internet at the new place. Night, Helen. The problem with this is it. Oh, this is more. It's like an off white. It's not a white. Meat. So I probably should have went with red because I have this really pretty. Hold on. I might do that. My mind with the paper. All right, so I'm gonna put up. Cat, do you want to go up or Dana? Anyone? Hey, Juan, I'm just getting my stuff prepped here. All right, I got you up for a minute, Dana. Dana's prepping something cool. Um, I am. I'm gonna try to do like a window mixed media thing, like. And chapel like snowflakes, all scenery outside kind of thing in the background. Um, mixed media style stuff. I don't know. Well, this is just some cardboard framing. And some paint. And I'm just going to make it look like uh, wood trim. And then I'll put some um, stuff in the middle for shaker type thing, you know. Oh, yeah. And I'll put on some, like, window curtains kind of thing. I don't know. That'd be cool. That's I just picture, whenever I think of snowflake, I'm looking outside and see the snowflakes, you know. So that's where my mind went. Yes, it's media. Kind of where mine went to. We were supposed to be better prepared. Yeah. We, like, we had decided that we were going to go do this way earlier, but we were supposed to do this live like before Susie and them went on. Yeah, that didn't work out. And then so we were supposed to have our word together. Yeah. Well, and then Kat was live, and then Gloria was live. So, you know. Yeah. She said, yeah, like your Christmassy. Uh, yeah, kind of. So what are you guys doing besides up? Um, wow. Okay. I wonder if okay. I think the blues is gonna be hard to kind of match. Um, I'm 
I'm just going to layer up some paint. Maybe get some texture paint on there. I was wondering when you were going to go live with this cat. I've seen that you said you're on vacation. I've just been in journal making mode. i seen that. I was like, the cat going to get burnt out. She's been on it. I know I did. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Now y'all see me make covers and be like, yeah, I'm going to make it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got okay. four, four orders. Six with Susie's. And then I need to finish these three that I'm working on for the craft show. Busy, busy. Yep. Yeah, I haven't even done anything for my craft show. Uh oh. <laughs> Isn't that what your little unicorn things were for? Yeah, that's all I've done. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Mine's not until December, so, but my what? middle name is Procrastination. All right, Ashley. <laughs> no wonder her and Susie. But get you it. get a lot done a lot faster, don't you, Dana? Yeah. Like, most like that motivates you and it's just done and there's all kind of crazy creativity coming out and there it is. Yeah. This I think that worked better under pressure. This is what Susie be telling herself to, that it's okay to get <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody's different. We all have a little bit of procrastination in us. Get it done. Yeah. My daughter's the queen of it. I yeah, only procrastinate with housework. <laughs> Why well, do, I do today fun. what you can put off for tomorrow? Right. I'm going to do this whole project without touching a paintbrush. You think I can do it? Oh, thanks, Rhonda. Ooh. Hold on, let's put Cat up. All right, Cat, you're up. All right. I'm doing a mixed media piece. And it's a background right now that I'm working on. And I don't want to dirty a paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm challenging myself to do this all without a paintbrush. Challenge accepted. <laughs> That's what I thought. I got this. Nice. Okay. That's what you start telling yourself? Makeup sponges work awesome for painting. They do work fairly well. In the mixed media world, I find they do. Now, I wouldn't want to paint, uh, you know, like the Sistine Chapel with one or something. <laughs> oh, Mary Lou, I'm the opposite. I hate doing dishes. Oh, I don't do dishes. Yeah, I don't anymore. My husband does that. If I do, it's a treat, and they should be thankful. <laughs> and my husband knows it, because if he sees me at the sink washing dishes, he's like, oh, what's going on? Oh, my God. You're doing dishes. <laughs> That's kind of how my family is. I had to do some today <laughs> because I melted butter in my microwave and exploded it everywhere. Oh. Yeah. That's a mess to clean up. And Dan cleaned it up, except for he laid everything in the sink. He cleaned the actual inside of the microwave. But... So this is like a total spur of the moment here. Okay. I was still in journal mode. <laughs> Oh, you got this. You got it. I hope so. 
You got it, dude. Let me get the background done. I need to do dishes because you're picky. Oh. I used to be really like that, but when I got sick, yeah, a lot changed. A lot changed for me when Dan retired. I'm like, mm hmm. You got this. He's homemade hours. Well, I told my husband he needs to buy me a dishwasher because the kids are moving out now. So all my dishwashers are moving out. No. <laughs> It was funny. I was listening to Dana tell her son. She was like, he was eating, and she's like talking about him eating. And then she goes, Where are you going? Oh, you got dishes to do. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what that little booger did? What? He left without oh, doing his dishes. That's not good. No, and he snuck out because he knew if I seen him, I'd be like, uh-uh, give me the car keys until you do your dishes. But no, they're just going to sit there until tomorrow, and then he'll have to do them when they're all hard and crusty and gross. Ew. They're all their dishes. They're not mine. <laughs> no, I don't cook unless I have to. I love to cook. I just don't I want to clean up. For real, though. I just, I don't like to clean up. <laughs> Paper's falling apart. All right, now I need texture papers. What are you using to put that on there? On the painting? Yeah. A makeup sponge. Oh, okay. A little wet. And paper towels. Hmm. I will get my um tools down for the extra paste, though. As soon as I found the right one. Um, she goes, just rinse off the plate. My daughter says, Mom. Oh, I'm a person that washes the dishes thoroughly with soap and a sponge, then they go in the dishwasher. We don't have a dishwasher, yeah, that's too much effort. No, no, no. <laughs> I agree, Dana. <laughs> and then my mother you only have to wash something once, not twice. My mother alone does that. Once. She's trying to put dirty dishes in the dishwasher, and I'm like, oh, don't do that. And then I'm like, no, nah, I got it. And then what else she does that irritates me is, she, like, she doesn't, when she washes the pot, she doesn't clean the outside of it. Bottom. What? Yeah, I clean the whole thing. You have to clean the outside and the bottom. The bottom has to be clean because they're going in a cabinet. And you got to rinse them good, too. Yeah. But how are you only going to, like, say you got a cup and you dip it in mud, how are you going to drink out of it if you don't clean the outside? There you go. Not very well. I don't know, dog. I just want to understand, but there is, it's just easier for me to go, okay, don't worry about it. I'll do it. And she knows she'll say, Jan's a freak about it. But one thing I love about going in the house, I ain't got to worry about dishes and cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I was really sick where I couldn't do it, Matt was like, oh man, <laughs> be like this plate is still dirty. <laughs> yeah. That's too funny. Okay. Yeah, I have issues with that. I used to hide when it was time to do the dishes. <laughs> I'd instantly have a belly ache when I was young. Zoe, Zoe always gets a headache because she had that injury, that car accident. 
So whenever she doesn't want to do something, immediately she complains that she has a headache. And every time she immediately. Dang. But then if you're like, okay, you don't have to clean anymore. She'll be fine. And so I'm like, okay, if your head really hurts, go to bed. No, I'm okay. Right. <laughs> Not at my house. We had, um, let's see, Jason, Daryl, Elani, Stella, Jesse, Dean, and Daniel. So there was seven of us living at the one time that I can remember. And it was four girls and three boys. So my mom would take the calendar and she would write our initial under, you know, she put them in order. So it'd be a D, a J, an S, an L. And then she would just repeat that for the whole month. So you had to do dishes on those days. None oh, so we had, boys had to do them. None of the boys had to do dishes. It was girls. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that was my house, too. Uh -oh, like, we had a row tight of every other week. Boys, they're going to do the dishes. <laughs> Yeah, we had to rotate every other week. It was like me and the older sister. Well, I'm the oldest, but me and the middle sister um, took turns doing like dishes. Like one did dishes and one did laundry. And then Adam had to take out the trash anyway, but um, it got to where him and Haley started doing it. And then like mom had us like other stuff to do. And then like one of us had to dust and all that stuff. Well, when Shadam had to do it, some of the dishes started coming up missing. If he didn't want to wash it, he would just throw them away. <laughs> so, you know, she's like, you're still going to do the dishes. And the next one you throw away, you're going to be buying. So, <laughs> yeah. I found Dylan nice. one time. He stuck all the dirty pans in the oven. Oh, uh-uh. Yeah. So he didn't want to wash them, so he stuck them in the oven. And then we the next day we go to cook, and we're like, "Where's all the pans?" <laughs> in the oven and open it up, and then there they all are. Oh wow! Yeah. See, so we didn't have a dishwasher, moss either. I'm sorry, I was, cat. What? I said I was the youngest, and there was nine years between me and my oldest, my closest sibling. So. And he was not doing no dishes. He was outside cutting the firewood. And then my mom raised my niece, so I always stuck her with the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wonder one day when we got older, I'm like, I realize now that like, I was kind of like the wicked stepsister from Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So, um, Mary Lou said she buys paper plates, and then Kelly said, My brother was famous for always soaking everything. <laughs> I'm soaking it. <laughs> Matt's like that too. Matt will do that too. Oh my goodness. It goes, yeah. The sponge and get it dry. Oh, that. So, here's what I do. Let me tell you. You know that sponge that you wash your dishes with? So when the dishwasher gets ran, that sponge goes in the dishwasher and gets clean every time. It right. needs to. We go through them, but those sponges collect bacteria. They said if you zap it in the microwave, you can kill bacteria in them too. But I do not use sponges. I put the sponge. Oh, no, I can't do washcloths because I want to make sure that I know the difference when I'm wiping my body with it. Amen. You have dishcloths and then you have washcloths. Mm -mm. And I bleach all mine. All my socks, underwear, yeah. towels, and bath cloths, all that gets bleached. I don't care. It's bleached. Yeah, but I'm a sponge person. Because, like, after a while, you just got to throw it away. But And I'm a and I'm a washcloth girl, so, like, yeah, there has to be a difference. But I, <laughs> I buy those sponges that... Um, what the F? I buy those sponges that have the smiley face on them. Those things are amazing. Sponges with a smiley face. Yeah, it has a smiley face on them, and like one side is like a scrubber, and the other one's a sponge. Yeah. I do like keeping some of those around, though, for the little scrubber. Yeah. But I have all my pots are stainless steel. So I, but I will buy an SOS pad, though, for real. And scrub that stainless steel down. I love stainless steel. Scrub buddy. That's what I think it's called. Or scrub. Yeah, scrubby. Stainless steel. Yeah, they're stainless steel. So 
SOS pads for the win. But I literally, you know how SOS pads, what I do is I'll buy the SOS pad and I literally use my kitchen shears and cut it down into four, right? Because you don't need that big ass thing and you have to immediately throw away a rust and whatever it's on rust. So I literally take scissors and cut it into a fourth. And yeah. Hey, that works. My store carries some that are SOS minis. Oh, cool. Nice. They're they're really handy. Glad I was the only one. That's all. I'm gonna use my dryer, so I'm gonna mute you. Okay. Uh, let's go. I'm gonna put Susie up because she hasn't been up. Okay. <laughs> all right. There we go. So I'm just trying to prepare like a background for this. I've actually already got one done, but and this is just some navy blue cardstock and white gesso. I'm pulling the cat because. I don't want to be done got a paintbrush. I think the ones I actually had. Yeah, I'm not too downstairs. Well, they're downstairs. And I'm just not doing all that. <laughs> you know they're getting messed up with that glue on there, right? No, no. I didn't. Like, I didn't even use them tonight. We used that yeah. bottle. Like, we didn't have to touch a paintbrush. But just in case I did. Oh, you took that. Um, yeah, so... Just in case your assistant needed a paintbrush. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, he had such a good... I'm so glad he did. That's good. Oh, that was really cool. He likes trolling y'all. Y'all know that, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh I know. <laughs> oh, I know. You know. <laughs> Feeling is mutual. Yeah, he told me after he's like, "Tell Rob to step his game up." Did you hear him ask? Yeah. Where's Robert at? <laughs> <laughs> he done said the whole name, not even gonna shorten it. Where's Robert at? <laughs> no, for real. We said it so well. I'm gonna be like, "Hey, step your game up." All right. <laughs> <laughs> Usually he tries to do such dangerous stuff, though. <laughs> you gotta reel him back in, girl. Reel it back in. You know that's loud, sorry. Hit that with the wrong sponge. Yes, Peacock. <laughs> hey, Mike, Kelly. We'll see. But I have to, like, I took my computer and stuff downstairs because I have to have him, like, a task specific thing to be doing so he's not like, squirrel, what's this? What's that? <laughs> no. Let's don't, let's don't touch that. Shiny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Loses it quickly. <laughs> The only problem with painting with this paint uh, makeup sponge is you soon paint your fingers completely. Yeah, I totally use like a cotton ball for this. <laughs> oh, those are in the bathroom. Yeah, how many in here? Yeah. I'm like that too with the squirrel. That's just what happened to me right now. I was <laughs> over here to get my embossing pen right, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> Melts is over here, and I haven't put a melt a wax melt in there in a while. And so, next thing you know, yeah, look, because I got wax on my arm, burning myself. Well, that's not good. Oh, that's funny. All right. Oh, it didn't burn me. Like wax doesn't hurt like that. I take a bath. Hey. I take a bath hotter in the wax. <laughs> hey, Kenneth. 
Hey, Kenneth. Hi, Kenneth. Hello. I have a feeling I'm going to regret using this stuff, but I've been wanting to. Hey, you know what? <laughs> You know what Jen said, Life Mix told me, and I forgot what we were telling Jamie, where she was probably going wrong with the embossing. So with embossing powder, which I should know this, and I should have asked that, but I didn't. You have to, the, so like literally when I go to emboss this, I'm going to take my heat gun, right? And I'm going to like let it run for like two minutes before I hit my thing, because you have to let the gun heat up. Otherwise it doesn't work right. Yeah, yeah, and you should start from the side. Yeah. All right, so look, I'm going to put me up really quick. Susie, watch. Okay, go ahead. This is that embossing pen I keep telling you about, so. All right. Yeah, embossing is not my friend. So, you might like it if you have one of these pens, though. Because you can, like, do whatever you want with it. And you can write names. And hold on. I'm just doing some lines. I could have got the black one, so I could have probably showed y'all better. But when I hit it with the embossing, you'll be able to see it with the powder. All right. Um, let me... Yeah, and I. This is so pretty. It reminds me of Follow the Yellow Brick Road. Follow, 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 follow the Yellow Brick Road. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to hit it in a minute, but I'm going to do a couple more. See, look, Susie. Oh, let me zoom in. Okay. So that's with the embossing pen. Dang. All right. Y'all have to get me one of them little boogers. I want to add me some red onto So these. where did you get that at? Uh, mm -hmm. I sell a two-pack on Amazon. They're called Ranger Emboss Pen. I should have known that answer. Hello. <laughs> they have them at your hands, too. I actually, they have them at the craft stores, but I actually got my very, I got them from Tim Holtz. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know about them. If it weren't for me getting them, I probably wouldn't have known. I was like, cool, what's this? Hmm. But once I got it, I was like crazy with embossing. I said I used to like send out letters, <laughs> put their name in embossing. They'd be like, oh, cool. Yeah, I know. And then my sister calls me because I sent her like a Christmas card. And she goes, hey, you know that embossing that you put on the envelope? And I was like, yeah. She's like, well, my friend wants you to do it for her. I was like, why? I mean, what do you mean? Okay. What is, like, she, you want me to send her a card? And she goes, no, she's getting married and she wants you to do it on her invitations. And I go, <laughs> how many people? And she's like, oh, like 150. I'm like, oh, no, no, <laughs> no, ma'am. She's like, well, but was she going to pay me though? <laughs> yeah. That's what she, goes. she goes, well, she'll pay you. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, girl, can you imagine me sitting here writing out 150 addresses with this and heat embossing it? And then you're talking really expensive envelopes with invitations, hoping they don't get burned or something? No. Oh, Lord. That are just going to get thrown in the garbage anyway? Yeah. Exactly. I'm like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh-huh. <laughs> I make fun. I, what I tell her is Good night, Mary Lou. Good, Good night, night, Mary Lou. What I tell her is Good night, Mary Lou. No, it's not glitter. It. I'm going to show you in a minute. It's 
it ha it leaves a like a foil finish. So this isn't glitter, it's embossing powder. It's totally different. It like you know how when you get stuff and it has a um the foil finish, that's what this is. But this one is just a glitter embossing powder. So I wasn't too fond of the green, so I'm have high hopes for this. Or maybe not. All right. So I think that's all my snowflakes, all right, for now. And I think that's all that I was going to emboss. Hold on. I'm going to put this up because one thing you don't want to do is have this out when you're embossing. You want to put up the embossing powder. Yeah, I spilt mine the other day. Um, mm. I've never spilt it, but what I had happen is I had my little Elijah when he was like two take it and like throw it in the air like it was glitter though oh no it was everywhere oh uh -uh. my yeah I could have killed him that would have sucked <laughs> I can imagine I was so upset about it and Rob was like why would you leave it on your desk you need to put it up and I was like no I mean I when I because what happened was I had left to go to the grocery store so Rob was literally sitting in here beside him while he did it. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he's like, but why would you leave it on your desk? And I'm like, but why would he be touching my things? <laughs> it had a lid on it, though. Because you were supposed to be watching him, though. All right. I just want to get this off of my desk because I'm going to heat and boss right here. So I'm going to mute real quick. Sorry, guys. I know. I'm going to mute real quick because I just want to show them this. But I'm going to mute because I need to heat my gun up. Oh, gosh. You okay? Yeah. I just hit my knee on the corner of my desk. I hate when I do something like that. Yeah, me too. I'm the most accident that prone person you ever met girl my daughter is awful I just I walked right into the car door today and literally with my elbow walked right into it now I started cussing mm. the car <laughs> oh that's not good and Dan's looking at me like you're the one that did it <laughs> Yeah, but I didn't mean to. The car okay. door shouldn't have been that close. <laughs> exactly. Like, don't give me crap, man. <laughs> I told him I said our house needs rubber walls because with the the vertigo, you're never uh -huh. fully balanced anyway. Even when it's not flared up completely. And I'll just walk it right into the walls. Into the doors, no. into the cabinets. That, it doesn't matter. I just walk into stuff all the time. That sucks. I got up one night in the middle of the night. <laughs> I needed a drink of water, so I went to go to the kitchen. And we keep a, a light on so that you can see. Mm -hmm. I totally, totally missed the door frame and walked nose first straight into it. Oh, man. <clears throat> <laughs> he came awake real quick because I'm like, son of a. <laughs> yep. I started to. Um, I was cleaning the shower one day and fell face first into the tub. I'm like, I, I got it. Okay. Somebody so, else. The glitter one is crap. It don't get the one that. <laughs> it says tensile stuff, right? It's crap. Let me show y'all. Hi, Don. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all this, right? And I told y'all the green one does the same thing. Look how crappy this looks, right? But let me show y'all. This is the Ranger one, but let me show y'all this other one. Ranger is my favorite embossing powder. So let me show you how pretty this other one is. And what I'm going to do, just so we have the same... Thing, 
I'm going to punch out exact same paper, same snowflake, same pen, just the, not the tinsel one. And then y'all will see. Okay, watch. Because I'm telling you, that tinsel one, I have the green one and it's so pretty. I should have just let it, put it on there with art glitter glue. And that's probably what I'm going to have to do with that stuff. Not use it as embossing powder. But watch how pretty, this is my favorite one, how pretty this one is. All right, let me put this one. So this is the copper, which is the prettiest color ever. All right, hold on. I don't know. <laughs> They're not speaking English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, tell them that and they need to say it in English. Go find a different video then. All right. So look at the difference. Hold on. I'm going to mute again. Well, sorry. That was like really blurred out. Um, but hold on. I'm going to. Let's turn on my heat gun real quick. Hold on. It got eerily quiet. It does. I fell asleep. <laughs> Oh, I got a yell in the phone. <laughs> I'm about ready to throw this away and start again. Uh -oh. All right, look at that one now. Now look at that one compared to the tinsel one. Oh, that's a huge difference. Right? Put them side by side. Oh, really? So this is called, this is just the regular, it's called super fine detail. And mm. this one's called tinsel. So it has like a tinsel. So, but it is my favorite embossing powder is the ranger. But this one, the tinsel one that looks like glitter. Cause if you look at this one, hold on, sorry guys. This one doesn't have any shimmer or nothing to it. This one looks like really pretty. It's crap, but you don't see them side by side, Susie. Yeah. Look at the difference, right? Yeah, that's crazy. This is how your embossing should look. This is not. But it's okay because it just gives it a little bit of red, which is enough. But like, wow, right? So pretty with this. All right, I'm going to try to dry this, so I'm going to mute. Okay, I'm going to put Dana up. Dana, you're up. Um, oh, I'm just adding some snowflakes to my background. I'm trying to flip them over. I just used some texture paste and some watercolor paint. I just did a tree and some snow and some clouds. Oh, it's hitting the ugly stage.
Susie says she hates embossing. Hi, Colin. I really do. So. Hi, I'll Fallen. Hi, Fallen. Ah. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, Fallen. It is me, Susie Q Crafts, Live to Learn Dana, and Perfectly Imperfect Crafts. And Dana is up right now and she's doing some mixed media. Our word was snowflake. Shoot too loud. <laughs> goes, what, Elijah? I didn't hear you. He said, I'm not. Uh -huh. Dana. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah, we're mad at Dana. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Elijah, tell him she can't be. He's watching the show. Yes, he found one in English. <laughs> <laughs> But they are no. Good night, Rhonda. Good night. Good night, Rhonda. I Good hope you're doing better. I hope you start to feel better. If I don't want to aggregate. Today's um, Susie's last day of freedom. Oh, uh, Don, she might be sleeping. She was on, she popped in on Susie's. She might be in bed. Oh, it was like, am I still like, what happened to Kat? I'm here. Oh, okay. Your camera's off. My camera's off. It's just oh. your face. It's just your face. Hmm. You must have clicked something. Is it still just my face? <laughs> Um, yeah. No, no, not anymore. Okay. I must have hit something accidentally. I yeah, know, you're good. You're good. So how are you enjoying your vacation? I'm loving it. I'd like to be on a permanent one. I literally hate that place anymore. What paper? My nose. My nose. Your note. My own. Your yeah. own paper. Yeah. What do you need a paper for? Yeah, that's why it gives me. That's why it gives me. Well, what are you going to do with it, though? I just draw with it. Okay, 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 wait. Let me get your pencil. Pencil. Here, get back. Move back. Here's your pencil. That's your pencil. Okay. A piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your papers. Yeah. Here you go. There you go. Don't start turning that crazy ass stuff up. 
What's going on? Man? Oops, someone oh. stuck that in the wrong paint. I need something else though. I'll be right back. Get Alright. Oh, I had you up, Kat. My bad. Because I was seeing what was going on with your screen. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I didn't know I forgot. I'm sorry. He needs Sharpies too. No, Dawn. He don't need Sharpies. Absolutely not. I'm just putting a tree branch on my tree. I thought you weren't gonna use no paintbrushes or nothing. No paintbrushes. I can use my um Oh, because you can wipe them down with the wipe? <laughs> yeah. I don't have to run to the sink all the time. Constant, I know. And, yeah. Trust me, I'm like the worst. I keep trying to stick that in the wrong paint. I hope this looks like a tree when I'm done with it. I've never want, done one quite like this. It's gonna have snow all around it when I'm done. Snow falling, snowflakes. I'm Hey, you know what would be so funny if you don't be too loud? <laughs> you know what would be so funny? What? He's literally <laughs> a Spanish thing on YouTube. Elijah, why don't you find a show in English? I know, it's too loud. Turn that down or I'm going to turn it off. Turn it down. Did you hear him? What did he say? He said no. Mm. He goes, I said no. <laughs> he turned it in. He's turning it down? Thank you, Elijah. Okay. Alright, I got to mute this again so I can drive the trees. Okay. Hopefully I don't right, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put up um, He can't read it I'm going to put up Susie So I thought I was just This this piece and it was starting to go nerves This is why I'm totally not a, Like a diamond art person um, I mean it's cool if you are but uh, No um, so I was like, well, how if I just dump it? Yeah, no. Don't go with just dump it. What happened? And, and expect it to hit, like, glitter. See how it got, like, extra chunky down here? Yeah. Cause that's kind of, yeah. No, I don't like that at all. So... Cherry, no, I haven't because I think for me, I had like beat it with a dead broom. Like, you know what I'm talking about? I had made so many things with the one by ones, and like I was just icy card out and stuff. So, no. I haven't finished mine either. But I'll yeah. have it next year. And then there's summer theme. So, um, yeah, I've done all that to like, I couldn't do it anymore. But it's summer related, the ones that I got. So I'll have them for next year when I'm making all my summer projects. No, I haven't, but I still have it. I need to send you something, Don. I've just been so between. The swaps and everything else. I have been. I don't know how I feel about this. 
but we're gonna make it work. Regardless. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I know how I feel about this and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like hold on, I'm gonna put me up really quick, Susie. See, I feel sure. like the flowers kind of threw it off a little bit. Like, because and then it was kind of trying to stick with that vintage kind of look, but it's still kind of cute. I think it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like it. It's better than what I'm doing. This one's gonna have to go in here just because I'll punch it out. Um, all right, hold on. I'm gonna uh, eeny meeny my name up now. Let's go back to Dana. Dana, Dana. I've hit my ugly stage, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> there's some color on it. I don't, I don't know. but there's certain things already on it that I can't add layers over. Color. Ooh, I don't like it. <laughs> there seems to be a theme here tonight with these <laughs> snowflakes. Yeah. Snowflakes was a bad idea. Way to go, Dana. <laughs> Jeez, don't let Dana pick anymore. Oh, wow. Nah, it'll work itself out. You know, you, know you can't quit. You have to do a project share. The hell I do. <laughs> Here's my project share, people. You know how ugly it is? This is my project share. Part of the rules. There ain't no rules in crafting, girl. I don't know what planet you're from. Oh, you're doing it? Yeah, I got my pencil right here. I like not I need some. Put the pencil in there. Alrighty, you look amazing. I will. What can I do? What can I do? And now. What do you call it? Oh, draw. Don't you hate it when you have a plan in your head and it just doesn't turn out the way you think it should? I shouldn't have started with that paper. I already know where I went wrong. <laughs> Well, I shouldn't have started with snowflake. I don't know where I went wrong. <laughs> Look, we didn't want to personally attack you. <laughs> Here, let me do it myself. Dang it, Dana. <laughs> this will be a lesson for you. Choose wisely when you pick your word. We gotta do one word with I don't do these one word things. We gotta do one word with cat before she goes back to work. Because cat's never picked a word and done it with us. Yeah. No, I haven't, have I? She's like, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> it won't what be like. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, though, I mean, it's not like we had that much of a notice because we just found out right before we went on, too. So, yeah. what was the one word you picked that one time, Susie? Um, pinwheel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, let me tell you what your other choices could have been. Dana was trying to switch it up to my. I thought we can pick between the three or use them no, all. I thought we could use all three. No, it's always been one word. You have one word. That's your inspiration. It's not called pick a word. Well, I didn't know there. <laughs> We're going to rename it, right, Dana? <laughs> Winging it. Okay. One the word. One word from Jan, one word from me, and one word from Susie. My word was stencil. Susie's word was bling. And. Um, Tina's, I mean, Dana's was Snowflake. So it used to be in on air with Tina that I, anyway, Dana's was Snowflake. Elijah picked Snowflake. So I <laughs> gave the three pieces. Blame it on the baby. Exactly. I gave the three pieces of paper to Elijah and he picked a paper and it was Snowflake. Then Dana goes, What the heck am I gonna do? I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being put on the spot. Think of a word real quick. 
<laughs> Girl, I gave you all day, though. <laughs> Be serious. <laughs> this was Dana's idea. And was like, we're going to go do one word, blah, 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 blah. And so, like, all day, Dana's had to pick a word. Don't let Dana try to play y'all. I, I don't know where you're getting all your information from. I don't remember that convo. Susie, what was the conversation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because still, even when we was ready, I was he, like, he, yeah, I don't know. Sleeping. No, uh, I I was calling Susie, asking her, like, all day, what's your word? And she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, well, you need to figure it out. Yeah, oh, girl, I wasn't sleeping today. No, she wasn't sleeping. Yeah, I it for you. Huh? Okay. Remember, I was fishing at the range, and I'm gonna put Susie up. Oh no, no, no I'm gonna put Cat up. Look what Cat did. Step your game up, Dana. She ain't even using a paintbrush. <laughs> I'm making my snowflakes with a toothpick. You. Nice. It was supposed to be a whole forest of trees, but I messed them up and I said heck with it and went to one. Yeah, see, I thought about doing just dropping these on here in different little random spots. But I, think I thought that might be a, just a bit too easy. <laughs> so I was like, nah. <laughs> So then after I started adding the little snowflakes to it, it's not too bad. Does it look like a tree though? Yeah. It does. It's, it's pretty. Tree. Thanks, Sandra. But I had some red paint and I'd probably done Snoopy's house. But my red paint doesn't look like red when I pour it out of the bottle. I know, I need to go to Walmart and get me some more paint. Acrylic paint, that's the cheapest, best place to buy it. Yep. I have like the shimmer red, but. I just recorded the video on how to make the double pockets that Dana taught us how to do. Double not the pockets, not the pockets, the flips. Where it opens up no. like a whole page. Because Deb's been like, can you show us? And then it was funny, she commented on the video again today. And so I just recorded that. That video is going up. That's cool. It's where it opens they up like a door. No I'll show you. I They're probably going to be like, when you watch that video and be like, what the? Because literally, like, the kids' watch kept going off and I couldn't What's find that? it. What's and it kept beeping. I was like, it's okay. It's it'll right. stop in a minute and then it'll start again, but it's okay. And then, <laughs> <laughs> like, so it kept going off. And then, like, no. I put it, I did something wrong, but I was like, okay. I told her I was going to do this video. See, I made it. You did a great job. I'm so proud of you. These. I want to play with your pizza. Look, click on me, cat. These, where it opens up like this before you glue them in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I'll watch that video. So simple. It's so simple. Look, do you see this? Look. It's yes. just a two-inch yes. thing, and you could probably make it yes. smaller, but I just use my scraps. So it basically is, hold on, I'll put me up so they'll know what I'm yes. talking about. So I'm talking about, I have a video going up how to do these pages to where they open up like this when you put them in the books. And so all it is is like I have a scrap like this that is the exact same size that I cut when I was cutting my two pieces of paper. And so you just score it down the middle and you basically, put, I put it on the inside of this top piece and at the bottom of this piece. So it's super simple. And then that allows the pages to open up like doors. That's how Dana showed us. 
Nice. Yeah. Okay, Dana, so show me how to put my door that I made into my book. And then you could do it up here or down here and flip it up and down. What do you mean? Did you see the video of the door I made? No. Do you want me to go share the screen and pull it up? Or can you hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put cat up, guys. I got to find it. <clears throat> For the one word um, uh -huh. collab that we did. See I this made one? a wooden door. Or it's not actually wood, but it's. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to put that in the page? Yeah. How thick is it? Is it flat? Yeah, it's just paper. And then it's got a piece of chipboard on the back side of it for where the hinge is. I know how to tell her. You do um, the trifold, right, Dana, underneath it? You would just take like a one inch strip, fold it in half, and stick half to the cover and half to whatever page you're putting in. Yeah. Okay, so this, this is what I want to do. Let me find the picture. Then it's still usable as a door. I want to put this picture so that when you open this door, you open it to this picture. Yeah. It's so you do like exactly the same thing with this. The exact okay. same way with this, you just put it on the side, put it on the inside, and then the same thing. Okay. I would have figured it out eventually, but I'm like, I think that'll be so cute. That's adorable. And I got a wreath that'll fit right here. A beautiful, like a welcome room. That door, very pretty. That door is amazing. Hey, I loved it after I did it. I was like, okay, this is much better than what I started to do. I had these little actual metal hinges that I thought about, but. They were too big. What happened to my pencil? Oh, yeah. I don't, if you're throwing stuff, find it. I'm okay. Well, let me see. The That's really pretty. Thank you. Um, cat. Why, well, cat? Gotta get on here and show off. <laughs> Do y'all hear my throat? Do y'all hear my voice going out? Let me tell y'all what happened to me. Uh uh. <laughs> so I'm Idiots. I was. <laughs> I made uh, some oven fried potatoes, right? And I went to eat when it was too hot, and so it was hot and where it burned my tongue. So like. You know how you blow out? Well, when I blew back in, the potato went to the back of my throat and burned. Like, so I have a burn in my throat. My husband said it was the ghost. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, who would I be yelling at? I got a burn. A burn. I know. They're so <clears throat> All right, let me go around because I'm, let me show, I'm going to go to Dana because Dana's working on the window. So Dana, you just used a Zacto knife and made that? No. Oh. <laughs> it's cardboard, but it's from a frame. Oh, okay. You know, you take it out to put in your picture and I didn't want to throw it away. Well, that's smart. That's a good idea. Are you putting lace on there? If I thought yeah. like that, I would be living in a hoarder house for real, though. I need to be more creative, though. That's cute. She's making her a window curtain. Yeah. I added some wet glitter glue to this, so I can't yeah, put it on there. It Do y'all see hers? It's kind of... Dana, can you hold it up a little closer, though? But look how pretty... I'm working on the curtain part. It's so pretty. Um, the I can see the tree and I see the snowflakes and I see the snow. Like it's so pretty. Look. 
Mãe de That's gorgeous, Dana. That is cool. Thanks. I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's really pretty. Well, it's Dana, we're always a critic. I need to dig out my fabric tack. This glitter no, glue isn't okay. working. Because you're being impatient. <laughs> Gotta wait for it to get tacky and then let it go. Um, Susie, you're up. Well, when the snowflake gonna come in though? It's here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look. Y'all see that? Yeah, it's looking better than I thought it was going to. I think it'll be okay when it dries. You put that down to your book size? You should have made that. Uh, yes. Yes, I, I did. I totally did. That's what I was doing at first. <laughs> I cut it down to book size. Yes. Oh, why didn't I do that? Dang it. <laughs> you got to think I'm making some. That's how I thought tonight was like, hey, she said snowflake. I'm making a. I got to make this project or I would have made something for the book, too. Exactly. Like I grabbed my book, went ahead and measured it and. Cut out my page templates and everything. Kill two. And one step. Hi, Tanya. Uh, Tanya. Oh, hey, Tanya. Tanya. I'm still putting some random little snowflakes down the page, though. I hope it won't be too terribly thick. Is that rosette on the Halloween book? It was just too much. Even and I didn't do like the half inch scores. I did the quarter inch scores, and it was just it was just too much. Hmm. It's so good. Great job, Susie. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I thought I had ruined it. At first, when yeah. I dumped that bottom part, and you need to get some surgical tweezers, and y'all can do this too. <laughs> I'm like, damn, sis, I need some of those tweezers though. For <laughs> oh, girl, I got it's like a pack of I don't what? even know, but it come like at Hobby Lobby, but it come like these, and then these bigger ones, and they're the reversible ones. Oh. And then I had like a couple more of them in here too. Where were they at? Uh, I don't know if I can't, honestly, yeah, I can't I remember. If that whole set too. Look, got these curved ones. Dana, are they in the crafting section or like the wood crafting section? I got mine from Dollar Tree. It was a set of like six. What? Yeah. Oh, and there's this one too. That little curved one. Yeah, all of those. Girl, did you see the pictures of my Dollar Tree? I doubt they got that. <laughs> and if they do, it's thrown on the ground somewhere. <laughs> hey, at least they don't pee in your drawer or poop in your Dollar Tree all the way up the aisle and they don't bother to clean it up. Oh. No. Uh, <laughs> too far. Well, I've been watching people do Dollar Tree hauls and I'd be like, Damn, that's some cool stuff. I need to go. Or people on Instagram showing Christmas stuff. But then I'd be thinking about mine. I'd send them pictures of my Dollar Tree. And I'm like, y'all don't understand. Going in there just puts me in a bad mood. Oh, cool. Thanks, Stacy. Yeah, hey, hit me up. I'm going to send you my email. Um, I'll put it in here because I don't care who gets it. It's on the videos. That would be amazing. Nice. Because I'm like OCD about this glass stuff. They be laughing at me, but y'all don't understand literally what it does to my mind when I go lay down at night. I don't know how much more I'm going to be able to deal with it. Because when I go lay down at night, I'd be like, did I wash my hands enough? I don't know. Let me go wash it five, <laughs> six more times. Oh my God, am I, I need to rub my eye, but let me go get a washcloth so I can itch my eye. <laughs> Two months. Like, y'all yeah. don't understand. And then, like, later, I'm like, man, my head kind of hurts. Maybe I was rubbing my head and the glass 
on my hand. <laughs> now I got a hole in my head. Like I was like, I don't understand. That's the <laughs> Dana's like, send it all to me. I'm like, I gotta get oh, me some of that stuff. You're crazy. It really does that. Y'all have no idea. Look, Hector's back. I mean, Sanders, Hector's Sanders. <laughs> Sandra, you have to go check in your other personality, girl. I know, Sandra. I'm, I'm going to get you a little something. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra thought I was trying to play her. And then I, the whole while I'm thinking she's trying to play me. She's like, I sent you that. And you're saying you didn't get it. And I'm like, no, I didn't get it. What are you talking about? And then I'm like, sure, she sent it, right? Sure as crap, like four months later, I get it. It doesn't have no postmark or nothing. No postmark. It's like the post office was just holding it for like four months. Dang. I told Sandra, I go, I hope you learned a lesson about your post office. Go in there and make sure they postmark that stuff. Because <laughs> then people are not doing their job. Okay, I think I'm done. It probably was that lady that lives up there and watching. They went home and opened it up. And seeing what was in it was like, nah, and then went and glued it back up after a couple <laughs> months. <laughs> One less person reporting them. Dang. And then when I went and told the post office, the post office is like, do you have the tracking information? And I'm like, yeah. No, there wasn't no tracking. They're like, okay, then how do we know it even got mailed? But let me tell you what else happened. So at my post office box, Somebody had sent me something. I had the tracking information. When I go up there, they're like, we put it in your box. And I'm like, I'm here because I'm telling you I didn't get it. And they're like, we put it in your box. I don't know who somebody else. Does someone else have a key? And I'm like, no. I mean, no. They're like, oh, we put it in your box. And that was it for real. Oh, my gosh. So if they say they gave it to you, it's, it is what it is. The only time you can say something is if, like, they can't prove that it was dropped off. Like, if it disappears and never, like, they didn't scan it saying you got it. <clears throat> For real. Well, one of the prizes that I sent out to someone um, was in one of the uh, bubble mailers or whatever. And it got shipped, said delivered, and then... It got sent back. Yeah. yeah. So Dana had to pay again to mail it to them. Yeah. What? But they didn't say why it got sent back. They didn't say none of that. Yeah. No, the post office, when I talked to them, they said, well, it could have been delivered and then it wouldn't fit in the <laughs> mailbox and there was no place to put it. So they just put return to sender and sent it back. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. Maybe, Maybe it was. That's awful. I know. I don't know. Oh, Lord. I don't know. The post office here are a mess. I told y'all, like, I'll be, like, looking for mail to come. That's supposed to, it's talking about, you're supposed to get your delivery on Friday, right? Uh -uh. I even have informed delivery where it tells me I'm supposed to get a package on Friday. Girl. Why the mail lady don't even show up on Friday, but on Sunday, here she come. And you know, <laughs> like, here's what's crazy. it's like you can hear the mail truck because it has that little noise where it's like, <laughs> and like yeah. I'm, I'm in the kitchen on Sunday at like six o'clock and I see my mail lady out there delivering mail. I'm like, I guess she'd take her day off when she's ready to, though, for real. <laughs> like, homegirl said, I ain't going to work today. I'm a I'll do it on Sunday. For real. I don't trip on her though, and I never report to her because I'm like, I don't really care. I don't it's not like I'm like getting something I need, right? So if she comes and drops it off, she does it a lot. She comes on Sunday instead of Friday, or she won't come on Saturday and come on Sunday. I don't care. You know what I mean? It's not that serious. I just think it's funny though. It is funny, but mine runs on sometimes too. On Sunday, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Stacy. We went up there. My husband took me on a little road trip Tuesday morning, and I needed that skeleton for my Halloween book. 
And they didn't have it at the Oxford. That thing's on my last nerve. And they didn't have it at the Oxford Dollar Tree. And I wasn't about to order like a case of them little guys. So I was like, hey, I'm going to just stop me at Dollar Tree. And I went in there. Girl, they was already getting like Christmas stuff out. I mean, their Halloween and fall was just stocked up. And it's right over there close to Academy. But yeah, it is it's fabulous. That's funny. <laughs> well, they're funny. <laughs> you told me one day, no joke. I went out there. It's this other one, the one that's not the regular one, the one that be like when they're out or whatever. So mm -hmm. I had some packages and I like was listening for the mail lady. Like one watch of YouTube was listening. Girl, why I go out there and I see the lady drive by, right? Like I'm right back. I gotta wash my brushes. Okay. And I'm like, what the so the next day I tell my regular mail lady, hey, that lady didn't deliver my mail. I've just seen her drive off. She goes, oh, she put in here that there was a car in front of your mailbox. And I go, what? Really? <laughs> Dang. I'm like, this lady just ain't even delivering mail. <laughs> this is driving by talking about there's a car in front of the mailbox. I'm Ours like, didn't come until 7.30 the other night. Who's? My, our mailman. What? Wow. Seven, I don't know if it's temporary mail person or the other guy's on vacation or what, but yeah, 7.30. We had given oh, up on it. My brother went up the next morning and the mail was in the box. Neighbor said it was 7.30. Crazy. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, girl, because all I'm thinking in my mind is, though I'd be wanting to report them, I'm is it really worth it, though? Is it really worth my package? <laughs> Coming up missing or just randomly showing up when they want to. Right. Like, no. We had a, a lady that did our mail, mail run for a while. She didn't want to deliver it all, so she just took it out and set it out. We, our family's cemetery is across the road from us. Uh -huh. And we went up to go to the cemetery one day, and there was this bag laying there, and it was in a Walmart bag, and it was mail for the rest of the road. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Y'all didn't report her? Oh, yeah, we did. We did. Wow. Just the whole road's <laughs> mail in the Walmart. <laughs> well, there was, after you passed the cemetery, there, there was three, four, five, seven mailboxes that she didn't go to. She just went to our driveway, turned around, came and left. Damn. These mail folks is not mails, and y'all know they get paid good. Yeah, they get real good. They got that old school pension too. But the guy that works at our post office, I love. That's hilarious. You are true. Oh, we have one one time when I was a young kid. And I was up. We had raspberry vines up there, mm. and. I went up, was picking raspberries, and um, I heard the mailman come, and they just drove their regular cars then. And he stops, and he gets out of the car. He has his truck or whatever he was driving. I can't remember what it was, but he parked it in front of our mailbox, and he walks over. He didn't know I was in the bushes <laughs> picking raspberries and just dropped his drawers and started oh. peeing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love you. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why are you gone? <laughs> I would have waited for him to get done and been like, you can go ahead and hand it to me, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 the mail. The mail. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, what I did was I said, hello. How you going to wash your hands before you touch my mail now? <laughs> Oh, oh, gross. There's some sick people in the world now. Yeah, there is. Can't take a leak. 
He got to stop truck somewhere. I <laughs> think <laughs> yeah, your house was as good as it is. Yeah, Sandra. Right. <laughs> Stacey goes, glad you. No, I would have paused. And then when he looked at me, like, what's going on? I'd been like, the mail, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's insane. I think I was probably about 12 or 14 years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was kind of an, <laughs> it was not a very enlightening experience. <laughs> She said, you were I told ground. my mom, look what Cherry put. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I hope y'all washed them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I just picked the bucket up and laughed after that. Like, oh, my God. That's hilarious. God. The life of a farm kid. <laughs> Girl, we had this guy. Okay, so one what of my you, friends. What work, did your mom say when you told your mom? Hold on, sorry. Excuse me. I said, right. I, I come down to the house and I have the raspberries. And she goes, well, why do you not bring the mail down with you when you come down? And we've seen the mailman go past. I said, because I wasn't going up there. He pulled his pants down and was peeing all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did she say? She goes, he did what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like... Yeah, yeah, he's no, I called him an old geezer. <laughs> yeah, it was a weird day. Oh, oh that's so funny. That's so okay, funny. Are you sorry, Susie? No, this guy, okay, this girl I work with was, wanted to go out on a date, whatever, find her a good guy, all, you know, all the fun stuff, and so I was like, well, you know, there's a guy I went to school with, girl, we go, <sighs> We go out to eat at this Mexican restaurant, and so help me God, after we get done eating and everything, my just me, her, and my husband, yeah. and this dude was like, yeah. I got to pee like right now. We're like, ain't nothing open right now. You got to go home. He's like, yeah. no, nah, I ain't above peeing in the parking lot, and there it was on. She's like, mm mm, like that done it. Can't do it. <laughs> Oh gosh. I knew that was going to happen. What? This man. <laughs> Put it all in the bag. Sorry. You watch this. The little baby? <laughs> he ain't hearing you because he. Girl, I, I was steady giving him like pretzel after pretzel, right? And all inside of me was like, oh, I'm so tired of handing pretzel every two seconds, right? So I was like, I'm going to give him the bag. Like, this has been going on for 20 minutes. And I'm like, nah, I don't um, want to do that because guess what's going to happen when I give him the bag? Yep. Yep. And guess what happened? My roommate, yes. <laughs> guess what happened? <laughs> <laughs> whole bag of pretzels everywhere. Listen, he goes, it's so hard. It's so many of them. What? Yeah, you need to pick them up. You make the, you do the crime, you gotta do the time. You just somebody that's gotta pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody job, mom. Oh, gosh. I want some. Good All right. Let me see. I'm going back to cat. Um. Okay. Pat, you want to show your project? And then we're going to do Dana. And I think we're going to shut it down, ladies. Uh, yeah. I'm on. Yeah. How, yeah, it's been fun, though. I, use the, uh, I don't think you can see wow. the texture piece I put in the snowbank. Yeah. That's gorgeous, Kat. That's very yeah. pretty. Why you didn't do that on a paper to put in your journal, though? I mean, in the... Well, I think what I can do is just trim a little bit of it off. You know what? Yeah, you that's can, what I say. You probably cut it down. You can scan it too, because remember that. Oh yeah, I can do that. My December mm -hmm. daily, I would keep the original and scan it so I could put it in there as a page. Yeah, I could do that. That's good. I used a credit card for this part to do the to drag the snow across, that, make it look like a birch tree. Yeah, that's what I thought. It looks cool. Um, yeah, you could always. That's what. 
with the scanning it, just scan it as a photo and then drag it to your word and you can size it whatever size you need. Yeah, yeah. Like it has a lot of texture to it too. Yeah. Yeah, she can always paint it again. Too. Now that's her, that's her um what do we call it? Your mock up. My mock up. Yeah. <laughs> Prototype. Mock up. Okay, we're gonna does scan mean copy? No, scan means you scan it in as an image on your computer and then you can print it out. You're scanning scan it in as a photo, kind of. And, and saving it. Yeah. A digital photo. Right. All right. I'm gonna put Dana up. That's gorgeous cat. All right. Thank you. What happened, Dana? The curtains you open the curtains? Oh, it's right here. Let's turn it. In. I can't put it together because everything's still wet. Oh, wow. Dina, that's gorgeous. Why don't you like it? It's gorgeous. Do y'all see it? It's like the winter wonderland. Yeah, I love it. Dana, you need to take a picture of it on Instagram. That's really pretty. That's oh, really wow. But this is that mylar. I put that on as snow. What's mylar? Um, what's this stuff? It's like uh, like tinsel, kind of. Yeah, but it's just like cut up finer. Oh, cool! And that gives all those different colors. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a giveaway. No, we're not doing a giveaway. I'm from the Stone Age. Um, I think she's asking you, are you doing a giveaway? What balloons? <laughs> Cool. You like the I'm looking at oh, mylar balloons. Oh, okay. I was I didn't know. So pretty. Hey Rain. So pretty. All right. And then y'all I'll show mine again. But um, so this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video on that. So that is the side. And of course, I cut one of the snowflakes in half and put it on either side of that. There's a snowflake here, and then the memory dex card has the snowflake and then kind that's of cute. so cute right and that's i'm gonna do a tutorial on this because they're asking and then i wasn't gonna punch out the memory decks on this one because i kind of wanted to just in case someone wanted to make it without you know it being specifically for memory decks hi rain yes me and my jokes i didn't get it i'm sorry sandra um all right, guys. Well, I think we're going to shut it down. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We've been live. I want to see Susie's. Oh, my bad. We were only on her for like two hours. No, it's fine. No, I didn't see uh -huh. the Susie, bring it up. Okay. I mean, it's so pretty. Step your games up, ladies. I should have yeah, I love that dimension on that. That is really awesome. Wow. Yeah, I thought it would be pretty. And I'm doing another one down here. It's just slow. Yeah, it's so really cool. Remember when I show Susie's book, I'm gonna be like the glasses in my hair and I can't rub my hair. <laughs> 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 so this is gonna be like worse than your cinnamon allergy. Is that what you're telling me? That picks up really good on camera too. It's it does. Good. good. Yeah. I'm really glad. Yeah, I'm, I still think I'm gonna put just a couple more of these just so what i'll scatter the, them over the page that was the alcohol inks is what you use as your background or what is what did you use as your background no, girl. i got some night blue look maybe blue cardstock oh, and gesso okay. i used some white gesso to put the rest of it on there with the dang on cotton ball wow cotton ball and white <laughs> gesso girl for the win yeah, yeah it looks cool See yeah, that's you only that. use, only use right. You know what we should do? Our next one word, we should do a video where it's like a tool, right? Like you cannot use any. You can use whatever <laughs> your craft supplies, but the only tool you're allowed to use is um a like a Q-tip or a cotton ball or a makeup sponge. Like we should do something like that. You hear me? Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be cool. Be fun. That'd be fun. Yeah. But then we have to be specific, like do a scenery with only using a Q-tip or do something like that, right? Because yeah. we have to have something that we all have to do and then seeing how we do it, right? 
with yeah. using only that tool. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm be watching out for that video though. It's probably gonna be <laughs> live because I think live, you know, of course we can't it would have to be live. I'm slow. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna shut it down. I gotta take some medicine for my throat. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks, Sandra and Rain and Stacy and the lurkers, because I know there's a bunch of and cherry and um if I miss anyone that's still talking to us, Tanya was in here and I think Kelly might have dozed off, but she wasn't here and Dawn. So thanks guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. Hey, Kat and yeah. Susie, do y'all want to comment so that if people come in later on, they are not subscribed for some reason, they will. Yeah, I'm on there. I know. I, I just, just told everybody good night. Okay. Just remember, guys, keep on doing what you do. <laughs> and enjoy the ride. All right, guys. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good night. Bye. Night.